All right, so looks like so. It's just a white box, like a it's plastic. That's so cool. Okay, tear tabs. I have like, if you ever want to hear a rant, <laughs> you should hear me rant about online online stores not just luxury but online stores Basic, bottom line if you can buy Cartier and Hermes online shame on everyone else who you can't shop online just absolute shame because oh my god that's so beautiful can we see so and it's plastic it's like that corrugated plastic that's so cool so we got Cartier there in the beautiful gold oh my gosh beautiful beautiful online ordering love that because you're not going into the shop and sometimes you know just sometimes I feel like online ordering you get a beautiful experience especially if you can't get to a boutique so here's our little shopping bag maybe by the size you know what it is and maybe by my hand you know what it is it's a repurchase here is my whole card set yeah oh and the return slip so if it doesn't fit the return slip and everything is in here that's beautiful and oh that's gorgeous look at that oh my god that's so beautiful oh my gosh this is so this is stunning look at that it's like inside a hole wow a hundred out of a hundred for online shopping packaging cartier of course of course of course of course so i guess this is like a little unboxing the little um the little wax seal is littler on this one than my first unboxing of this item which is a repurchase which I'm sure you can see it's not on my finger hint, hint. beautiful I always keep everything so here we go I repurchased a new Cartier oh oh my god how cute a new Cartier love ring oh my goodness I purchased a new one because my one was too tight I knew it was too tight from it's not that I only gained weight in my fingers from my pregnancy but it was too tight from the beginning I remember saying to the sales associate who I bought this off so there we go yeah so I remember saying to the sales associate when I bought this in a size in the size I bought it in I remember thinking you know it it's really tight and she said oh it's better to be tight so I have parted with my first one and I repurchased it in the next size so let's go ahead and try this puppy out so it's exactly the same it's yellow gold but my size my first size was size 55 this is size 56 oh it's so much better yeah it's just so much more comfortable my the first one was so tight i just simply could not get it on um, at all so yay so that's my new love ring in the next size up yay so cute so i just wanted to show you but online ordering wow <laughs> wow cartier you take the cake that is just out of this world wow so i thought about it and i thought you only live once so why not use my tiffany and co game cups uh, that are at the they're bone china they're not paper but they're made to look like paper like they've even got it's so cool they've even got like it looks like it's wrapped in cardboard so yes I'm using it for my coffee
it's a perfect small latte. Not too much milk. Beautiful. Wanted to come and say good morning and that I actually haven't vlogged for a couple of days and for quite a, quite a few days actually uh, since probably the few first parts of this vlog you saw because um, I was doing sit down videos which I would have uploaded the first part I think I'm gonna upload and yeah but I just you know what I didn't feel like vlogging I didn't feel like I just I was I was irritated that's what I was I over the weekend kind of I don't know I weighed in on the current um, you know beauty guru drama that's going on on YouTube and as a youtuber I weighed in on it because I'm friends with a few big beauty gurus and I did want to show my support in my opinion uh, in the drama that was going on however followers that I have on Facebook just it was so good don't get me wrong opinions are opinions as I say everyone has them they're like assholes but so many people disagreed with my opinion or my view or some other people that agreed with me they disagreed and they respectfully disagreed and it was lovely and it was kind of like you know everybody sharing their opinion as they are on this drama a few women just were like stick in your own lane Jerusha only deal with handbags and SLGs and that's such bullshit because you can't segregate people into their like sections like you can only talk about handbags you can only talk about babies if you're a mummy vlogger and you can only talk about cats but other women were just like you shouldn't get involved in the drama shame on you like you're gonna lose followers I don't oh, it's so like policed you know on social media and YouTube but you know what I did I started this eight years ago and I am telling all of those people that commented it was a hell of a lot different eight years ago okay no one like you just didn't talk like that like mind your own business don't I don't follow you for drama it's you can't even have you can't even be free it's like you have to be segregated and stuck in your own zone now and not spread around at all I was so close to beauty gurus sorry so yes um that's just how I felt and I just didn't feel like vlogging or like sharing my life again because it just pisses me off and I'm like I don't I don't want to be in this world where it's like you can only do this and you can only do that it's like what anyway on brighter news I am dropping Zaki down to mum we've got a couple of meetings today Will and I do so we've got to head out for that and that is the update this morning but I'm going to continue vlogging I got my hair colored I will show you that a bit later it was great two two years in the too late maybe that'll stay hopefully that'll stay um, I think it says like tear here but it's in French or it says a D oh it says tear here tear here in French Ta da all right oh my god is this from my Paris personal shopper how cool oh my god Irene did you send me something oh she sent me a card oh it's in French <laughs> congratulations dear Jerusha congratulations and very best wishes to you and your beautiful family. Welcome to the world for baby Zaki. Love, Irene. This is from Irene. This is from Irene. My Paris personal shopper. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Irene sent Zaki. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Here's a 
little singing toy. It's all in French. Help! <laughs> oh, he's a little singing toy. Oh, I think he's like a lullaby. A lullaby toy. Oh, I got the batteries in it. Oh my gosh. How gorgeous is that? Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you so much. I will leave her um, personal shopper details below. But she is uh, my Paris personal shopper that I get my Rue Cambon uh, items from. While we're here, I figure I should just show you this because it's so bad. My subby Christine. Hi, Christine. I made this collage of all of the postcards she sent me and the actual frame got caught under another frame and shattered it into these like large pieces of glass so it's all shattered but I've it's like custom made to that size so I guess I'm just gonna have to take the glass out and keep it without glass because I love it so much Good morning. Welcome to my father-in-law's car. <laughs> it's actually super funny. Oh, it's super funny. Morning. How are we today? It is uh, another day. <laughs> this is going to be a choppy vlog. Uh, <clears throat> a choppy vlog in between uploading uh, my sit-down videos. First sit-down videos since my maternity leave. So that was so nice to get in the studio. Trust me. Oh my God, I missed it so much. I just, I love vlogging. I said that in that video, but it's just so nice to be in my studio filming and dedicated videos. Ah, I like it. Did you enjoy my first part of my collective haul? I hope so. Please give me a thumbs up on this vlog if you did. I'm sorry about my piece of information yesterday. I was just a little emotional and yeah, I just feel like, you know, YouTube and especially YouTube, but social media is nothing like it used to be and sometimes it really upsets me and because I know a lot of original YouTubers who, you know, started on this platform a long, 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 long time ago and um, it, just, it, it just sometimes just gets the better of you really. So anyway, moving on from that, it's not my problem. Um, yeah, uh, we are going to go and run errands. You were going to come with, but we're getting coffee. We're in my father-in-law's car because Will took my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and the two boys to his sister's house. They're going to have, um, a nice day there, and, and I had planned errands and stuff, so I was like, you go, you do you, girl, because I got work to do. Um, and we got to come back and clean this house. So yeah, just hanging out with me. That's what's happening. Got my coffee. Let's go to the shops. That's why I said mussy. Let's go to shops. Let's go to shops. Mm. I make a good coffee there. Thank you. Oh my god, I don't even think this trolley is going to hold, it's so full. Okay, don't stress, I'm putting you on a box, okay? Not on a jacket on the car next to me. So I wouldn't put my camera on someone's car. Just FYI, you're going on a box, don't stress. All right, I've just gone home and put everything out. <laughs> this is a massive, massive shop, actually, and there's kind of a reason behind it. Firstly, that's the reason behind it. <laughs> we are completely out of everything. Oh, I forgot OJ. Oh, well. Um, so a shop needed to be done. And the other reason is because 
I don't share this kind of stuff because it's more like, I guess, mummy, you know, blogger stuff. But my two and a half year old is not eating and that's not, you know, an uncom uncommon occurrence. I'm sure a lot of you mums out there go through that. However, this is all behavioral. So we've, seen, we've been to the doctor because it's like well over, you know, maybe nine months now that he's just not eating and it's not to be picky like I only want junk food he just pushes everything away so and I used to have a really good eater so I've been to the doctor and he's really helped me so let's start up this end I just pit uh, this end is from Kmart there was a Kmart in the center I was at this looked like a cool cookbook i always invest in cookbooks i don't care how much they are this was ten dollars look at that 200 plus recipes with six ingredients or less and it just looked really uh good and i just look i'm 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 at wit's end okay i just <laughs> need to work out what to do there's some things he eats but others definitely not okay then of course because it's kmart it's like ikea you just keep shopping this quilt set looks so cute in kind of like a dusty rose and a gray and i got it in king because this cute one which was at the front of the store which is like that wallpaper that's going around you know the beautiful like peony wallpaper they only had it in a queen so that's okay i don't mind on my bed we can have double dunas it's fine so I got those. Moving up here, I got a new toaster because Willie just blew the one up we had. These are like $20, you know, these are like $20 appliances. They're really quite cheapo. And this is a 1.2 liter food processor. And then I got a little poo stool. <laughs> I call it a poo stool, but a little stepping stool because Mussy is toilet training and he's doing really, really well. We've had some number twos in the potty already, so I want a little stepping stool. Um, some bread here, fresh bread from Breakers Delight, low GI, it's amazing. Some bagels and some scones. I love their sugar-free scones with dates. These are some, okay, so now this is all Coles, the uh, grocery store. So this is all the supermarket. And these were $8, these are just crock, crock dishes to do like quiches and pies and things like that this is so cool and this was their casserole dish and they had them in the like dusty pink uh color as well and this kind of uh blue color and it just has a like a tupperware lid but it's a casserole dish so you can you know put your casserole in the oven and then so keep it in the same dish put the suction cup and put that in the fridge and that's what I need I need to preserve the food I make because then because obviously Mussy's not going to eat a whole casserole but tomorrow the next day he can have the leftovers this is a new sippy cup because he always goes through sippy cups this is a new Contigo uh, bottle these are the best bottles for kindy if you're looking for them mums out there because they don't leak Unfortunately, Camelbacks, which are like the it bottle to have, they leak terribly. So Contigo is my favorite. Moving on to food. Here we have some Mission Wraps, tortilla chips. These are the white corn. I like those with, um, when I make uh, guacamole, I put, I, I like them as a snack. And this, which I still get asked about if I'm gonna do my wrap, my egg wrap, but this is my um, Olo Paso guacamole spice mix that I put on it. If you are wanting to know, screenshot that and you can find it in Coles and Woolworths, I think here in Australia. And I don't know about overseas, but maybe you'd be able to get it on eBay or Amazon or something. Anyway, that is my mix. I have many different pasta sauces just like in a tomato base because we're going to do like pasta bakes for musty and things like that you just basically my pediatrician's like you just have to not say what do you want to eat and you basically just have to put it in front of him and say okay you're eating this or you, you're kind of going hungry so that's kind of my new regimen i'm trying this is beautiful, beautiful yogurt. Gibson is a little bit high in sugar, but I only have a little bit. 
um, Gippsland and it's the boysenberry twist. Love it. Cooking uh, cream because there's like a few quiches and frittatas that call for cooking cream. Our milk as usual, full and light. Some chicken tenders and chicken thigh and chicken fillets. He does eat those. Strangely enough, I have some rigatoni back there for a pasta bake. These are, <laughs> these are little pretzel, peanut pretzel, um, like peanut butter inside a little pretzel cup from Woolworth, uh, from Coles in the scoop section. You can also get them in scoop in Whole Foods. They're really nice and he likes them for snacks. And he doesn't snack that much. That's the other thing. My doctor's like, does he snack? And I'm like, no. Like, unless he's given it, he doesn't be like, I want biscuits, I want chocolate. He doesn't ever. But I, I do buy Carmen's because he eats those sometimes in the car. Um, kind of. Um, here I got some QP dressing, salad dressing. If you don't know QP, it is the most delicious um, Japanese salad dressing. They now sell them in Woolworths and Coles. I got um, a new pink Himalayan and black pepper grinders to cook only with. I got um, sesame seed oil because I was out. Okay, and fresh green groceries. Okay, so we got shallots. We got two sticks of leeks. These are pie, uh, a, a quiche recipe and a pie recipe called for leek. Here are some yummy, yummy fresh grapes. These are really crunchy and delicious actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. Always wash your fruit. Bad Jerusha. Gourmet tomato packs, two of them. I cook with a lot of tomatoes. Massey likes these, little cherry tomato. He actually really likes them. A bag of lemons, two hands of bananas, uh, green beans. Another recipe called for green beans, so that's good. Um, some mushrooms. Uh, avocado, capsicum, a new garlic um, pack, baby leaf blend, some imperial, um, some imperial uh, mandarins. Must call them baby oranges. <laughs> imperial mandarins. One cauliflower, which is a cauliflower cream bake. Uh, baby cos delicious in like tacos or things like that or wrap my wrap my favorite snack which is celery with peanut butter this is the best diuretic okay celery is an amazing diuretic um and yeah is that it that is everything okay so that's what we got so now this fridge is going to be nice and full so let's pack it away all right let's show you this so we just pack that all in nice I'm going to cook up some food so we can pop that in there. These grapes are so nice, guys. Like, so nice. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh my god, okay. Apparently, I just don't stop vlogging. <laughs> this is going to be the longest vlog in the world, oh my gosh. But I wanted to give a little bit of cam and a bit of eye candy to this amazingness that happened. If you watch that video, thank you so much. How beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm I wanted to put this on the end of the vlog just simply because there was a few questions in that video. Not everybody in that video will watch vlogs, but I'll answer them. Firstly, the main asked question about this bag is, are the pearls on? Like, I'm so scared they're going to fall off. Guys, this is like medieval armor. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, it's so, it's so solid. It's so one unit. It's not, there's nothing 
like see there's nothing for like it's not like it's not like this there's nothing hanging off it's not it's there's no way it can hang if as such if that makes sense I had a question how is it actually constructed like are they just sewn on they're what's called double dined so through the actual fabric so this is the satin of the bag which has a bit of a sheen I don't know if you can sort of see but it's satiny so it's double sewn through that and then it's like got a glue like not not glue glue but it's like ad adhesive so it's like heat set to the fabric we used to do this with gems, like like Swarovski, when we did Swarovski at our fashion college. So stable, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, a lot of people asked about the length of the chain. Can't help it, it's long, it's the way it is. It's the same with locks, like that's just the way it is, you know? Um, but other than that, it's so amazing. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Here is my hair. I said I would show you it. I got it colored after two years. I went back to the salon that um, did it uh, the first time, who did it dark and, and cut it in layers after so long. And they looked, they weren't surprised. <laughs> I had had a baby and just, I'm not a hair person. I just don't care for my hair. It's really bad. Uh, but they put color through it. I think it's the color, like it's a four or a five. So it's really dark. But it just takes like I'm naturally, you know, pretty dark. So it's beautiful and it's happy and it makes me just feel like alive. So that's that. I need to go put a bit of face on because we're going to a dinner now. Like we're going to dinner. And yeah, that is it. I will be uploading my part two of my Chanel Collective haul. I think I'm going to upload it. It's finished. I think I'm going to upload it on Wednesday. I'm going to start putting out reminders for Wednesday because that's when I'll post it. I am loving my bracelet. I wear this every day. So many people ask me about it. Unfortunately, Chanel jewelry is just like a one hit wonder. You just got to find it. Uh, but it is the Pearl Charm Bracelet, apparently, is what it's called. So, yes, guys, look out for part two of my collective haul. It's epic. Hold on to your knickers. I hope everybody is doing really well, guys. Take care. Peace. <laughs>